it's Charles, and today we're gonna play episode two. Oh, wow, that was so lame. <laughs> Life is strange before the storm. I am, what am I? Excited, yes. Here we go, I'm gonna shut up. Let's just start playing, oh my God. Ooh, let me turn it up. Let Previously it up. on Life is Strange Before the Storm. All right, everybody shut up. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm going to teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead. Get the fuck Let out of stop. here. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Oh, Chloe, man. do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't Aww. be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? I'm that still mad name? that she fucking started a fucking forest fire, wildfire, crap. And that woman was definitely not my mom. But I really think that she might have like some powers or some crap because you saw all that stuff that came out as she was screaming. Okay, let me shut up. Everybody shut up. Is that her parents? That's Rachel. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. Oh, shut I'm up. so sorry we're late. My my shift ran late at the diner and then just sorry. Why are y'all look at Let each other like proceed. that? One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber. She does not care about Rachel this lecture. Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Uh, <laughs> no. Nope. What? Damn. Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Mmm. Don't screw up. Is that rhetorical? Say nothing. Uh. <laughs> uh. Don't get in trouble again. Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. Did we really agree on that? I don't we remember did. that. In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. <sighs> Disregarding posted signs about trespassing on the stage. Implications of possible drug-related activities. What does that mean? Ooh. Yes, what does that mean? It means Miss <laughs> Price has developed a reputation as a user of marijuana. And I would strongly recommend you take a careful look through her room at home. Oh Shall no! I continue. Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students, Victoria what? Chase. What? Uh oh oh! When I was um, what? When I told her um, potassium, all that other crap. Okay, yeah, she cheated academic goals like doing her own homework because I thought Blackwell had a zero tolerance policy on plagiarism excellent suggestion 
Stricter punishment for students who violate Blackwell's code of conduct is next on our agenda. I hate this guy so much. For her much. plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Chloe, you tried to get someone suspended? What? No! Mother, if Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf, and we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> what? How? The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. Then how do you explain the desecration of Mr. Prescott's photography project? <sighs> I didn't say I was successful. Right, so how are you gonna blame oh, me? Chloe. Bullying? Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. How? What? That's so... That's so lame. I'm actually getting in trouble for sticking up for some, like she said, little weirdo for corrupting... Miss Rachel, Ant this is stupid. This is stupid. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? Chloe, now is not the time. Are you for real? <laughs> and yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, <laughs> because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this, but I wouldn't listen. Oh, look at See, those acting skills. Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. <gasps> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe, that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Okay, I'm gonna have to press buttons. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, Why she shake is this true? Like it's true. Hell yeah, totally it is. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Yay! Miss Price. Wait, am I her now? What? Yeah, yeah. Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Right. But she's like, I don't want to fucking talk just to you. Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or- Trick her? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, thank God. Mrs. Price, this revelation may color the situation some, but it in no way absolves your daughter. Oh, shut the hell up. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. It's sad that Ms. her mom Amber, has to keep begging. I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. Shut the hell up. I understand. I'm sorry, I this hate him so much. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And She's you like, will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. What? No. What are you insane? The performance is tonight. Hell yeah, what are you insane? 
Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. I don't give a fuck. Right. <laughs> she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. <laughs> There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Who is Victoria? it, Victoria? Chase. I knew it. I knew it. How fitting. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. <sighs> that. Is what such... was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Go along with Rachel, take the blame. <gasps> Oh crap, I told myself that I was always going to press that when it comes up. Oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I want her to be in the movie, but I, at the same time, I don't want to get her in trouble as if she's lying. Oh man, I really wish I had rewinding powers. This is not cool. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna... Oh, no! No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. I am going to lose this, you guys. I don't know why I did this. Much. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. To succeed in, in backtalk, listen to your opponent and choose a related comeback. This is, why did I do this? Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Oh no. <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was little Miss Sunshine's idea? Oh. Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. You're punishing her for taking the blame for me? For trying to be a good person? That makes you even more clueless than I thought. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? <sighs> I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. What? Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little red riding hood. Welcome to grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. I feel like I'm in the wrong room. I regret bullying Nathan. Sorry for making you look back. Shouldn't have dragged Rachel into it. Fine. I shouldn't have pulled Rachel out of class. If I'd known she couldn't handle it, I would have gone it alone. Why speak up, Miss Price? Oh my god. Your words do not exonerate Rachel, but they do further implicate you. Oh my god. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. This is my swan song. My farewell to- Oh god! I'm only sorry I had but one fuck off to give. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You oh will God. not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price. I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. Oh god, and now I'm expelled. You are expelled. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. What? No. I will have oh, Skip Matthews S. No! <laughs> No, 
No. 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 I had to stand up for her, but at the same time I feel really bad. Oh, it's not gonna work. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. But she hated school anyway, right? She hated school. She's saving her mom some bills. She's, um, she doesn't have to pretend like she wants to be there anymore. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> For you to going. clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. Damn. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Wow, that seems so forced. Oh, that scared me. That scared me. Mom, I'm I'll see you in the parking lot. Dang. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. Y'all, I can't stop pausing this because I feel like I really messed up. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just gonna have to internally scream. Hey, uh, just wanted to say it sucks what is happening <clears throat> to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Whoa, okay. Wasn't ready for that. Uh, wow, this is a really weird angle. Interesting point. Okay, I know how to play the game game. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Let's sign it. How is she doing that with the left hand? Oh. 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 She really just does not care. Yo, I really feel like I messed up, but Trusted I said every keeper, time I see it. My graffiti pens. You've served me well. I said every time I see it, I was gonna press it. I don't know why I said that in the beginning of this. I really messed up. <clears throat> oh, it's his cat. I mean, sorry, her cat. I was thinking of Skip for some reason. Uh, yeah. She's taking her sweet time. I mean, it's me doing it, but I can look in here. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Retrieve. Jackpot. Wait. Wow. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Chloe Heyo had to borrow your stash desperate times, you know. I promise I'll get you back next week. Wow, he literally went up in her locker. That's crazy. <clears throat> Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. 
Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? He's so cool. I love Skip. Oh man, in the first game she dies right here. Max right there. I mean not Max. What is Yeah. I press the other one. Wow. She's so skinny. She has no hips whatsoever. Here we go. Oh, it's her boyfriend. Later, Skip. <laughs> Later. Aww. Oh, God. Here it comes, Looks like guys. David's here. Awesome. awesome. Announcement. Wait, first we want to go here. Another letter to Max. That I'll never send. Okay, yeah. So I want to read this one. So, Max, when did you decide you were done with me? I mean, how did you know it was time to move on? I asked because Rachel and I have decided we're done with this shit town. We've, we've had it. It's bye-bye bay. Bye-bye <laughs> bay. But instead of just ghosting it like someone I know, we're going to leave a trail of destruction in our wake. Did you discuss this with Rachel or is this just off the top of the Okay. For Rachel, that means burning a fucking forest down. Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. I know, crazy, but guess what? I'm pretty crazy too. In not unrelated news, I finally got my ass kicked out of Blackwell. But at least I managed to keep Rachel from getting booted from her play. I'm so I'm proud. I'm happy. You know what? I'm gonna stick with this action. I was gonna go back because I was panicking. Um, anyway, I should probably be more upset about being a high school dropout, but I'm not. It's just another chapter of fuckery in this in the story of my life. So yeah, burning bridges literally and academically. That's how you make an exit, woman. Chloe, the exit. Wonder, 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 <laughs> wonder. I don't know. Hey. Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! <laughs> I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. <clears throat> Damn. Do you want a hug? No? Let's not make a big deal out of this. Yeah, I don't want a hug from you. Oh. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess. Did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. 
for the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? I shouldn't have talked to you, man. This is awkward as hell. <laughs> Ditching the show. Yeah, maybe. Sorry, it's a new. I'm sorry. I'm in love with Rachel Amber, so I kind of don't want to talk to you. <coughs> Excuse me. That was God right there telling me to stop being mean. <clears throat> Let's go with ditching the show. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe I won't go to the Tempest. Even though that's not true. <laughs> the more I think go. about being at Blackwell tonight, the more I want to throw up. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I should have thought of that. Do you just want to hang out instead? Nah, I think I'll just chill at home. You don't mind, right? It's totally cool. No problem. Nah, Next time. He's, he's, he's definitely okay. hurt right now. I better go. Ugh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. It, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Don't walk yeah. away, because I want to check his car. Later. You know what's interesting? The game kind of sets me up to not um, be interested in him because I feel like <laughs> no matter what I do, they're I just not supposed to be no together. Joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. I just want to see if there's anything else for me to do. Hey, I knew it. Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Oh. Okay. What else is there? Oh, hey. Wells's car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Man, let me tell you. Taking pride in Blockwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. In the first game, wasn't he all about money? I can't look at this one. All right, let's go. Oh, hello. Why is there a skateboard in the... At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. If I feel like it. It's about damn time. David, <laughs> please. Yeah, <laughs> you better not raise your voice at me. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. I'm talking to. Okay, let me stop. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. And? Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. Ooh. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. What, what language? Or what? She's my mother. Let's just say, or what? Because personally, I wouldn't use that type of language with my or mom. What, or what, David? What? what will you do? Watch him hit her. You Watch him do not want to test me. What you Chloe, gonna do? You just want to help. What you gonna do? I'm sure. I know what you did. The money in my purse. I appreciate it, Chloe. But where did it come from? I stole it. <laughs> Does it matter? Does that really matter? I can't turn a blind eye. We need money, Mom. I'm providing as best I can. I appreciate what you've done. I'm just worried about you, Chloe. <laughs> this is so pointless. I don't understand what we're doing here. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Oh. Or how to be a soldier? Oh. Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner?
Someone needed my help. Someone needed my help? Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me, your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going. Y'all remember the incident? Because I don't. Forward. Incident? What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She oh. insulted me. I know. What we're swore at me. She's like, uh, but with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. As long as it wasn't that action move where like I have to talk back, I'll just say sure. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Oh, great. I mean, to Mom. kids watching this. Okay, great. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. Wow, what it's... The fuck? It's literally like we are going like to start over... It. We have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Has anyone noticed that David looks like a straight up box? I hate these, man, they cause anxiety. Okay, comply, refuse. I'm afraid that if I refuse, he's just gonna like straight up hit me. Let's just, let's just comply, Fine. whatever. You wanna see my shit so badly? You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Not you, but not him. Let, let's just say I forgive you. I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you. But that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We oh, God. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. How is that better? She hates you. No fucking way. Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. She's upset. What you talking about? I know I fucked up. You're trying. I get it. I feel like these are both true. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Dang. I'm 
sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be Dang. better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. Dang. Wow, this sucks. I, oh my goodness. Sweet baby, Chloe. Sweet baby. Damn. Hey! What's there she is no doing? home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Y'all gonna let her walk off? Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. Why she was <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dang. She just straight up said, I'm not coming back home. Where is she? How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Why did this game make them walk like that? I'm sorry, I'm focusing on the wrong things, but... Where's Rachel? Weren't they supposed to meet up there? Wait a second. Oh my god, it just clicked. She has a car in the first game. This was her car. This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Okay. Oh, that's so awesome. I love how everything's starting to like come together. Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool. I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets. And then you were completely innocent. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. Maybe I just need some space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. Well, maybe you shouldn't have asked me to freaking, yeah. Oh my God, her dad's car is still right no, there. Not going over there. Okay, let's try and find a battery head. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. That's called love, baby. That is called love. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me. What, hold on, I want to hear it again. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Make it a great day. Don't tell me what to do. Batteries are heavy, dude. 
What's that on my go? Hand? The pick of the litter. I was gonna say, why doesn't she just try and fix up this car? But I'm like, that's got a big ass boot on it, so <laughs> pretty sure that ain't going nowhere. Is there anything? Oh, hello. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. Anything back here? No. All right then. Let's go back to the battery. When does she have time to to write that? This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. I think that hole was still there in the first game. This is definitely probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, yeah, that's all I can really do. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. And up next, a local band called Pisshead is blowing mines and speakers throughout the bay. Here's their new single, Nothing Wrong. What? Pisshead made it to the radio, y'all! That's awesome. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Skip. <laughs> I wonder if she knows how to drive yet. Where did she get tape from? I'm sorry, I got too many questions, y'all. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one, too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Mm. Still, how sweet would that be? Is that Rach? Oh, her flip phone. Yeah. Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about? Oh, like drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard north of town. The junkyard. That's great. Stay there. I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank? Was everything cool? Burner phone? Uh. I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon. Was that the forest fire behind them? I'm a little scared. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Uh, yeah, we're gonna graffiti it. You only get one chance to make a first expression. First expression. Mystical, frightening.
The eye sees all. Really? Y'all just gonna put some Illuminati stuff up in here like that? Can I change that? That's creepy. Uh, see if it works. Press it. <laughs> cool. I guess you're smoking now. In my own time. What is this music? I'm trying to tease friend, make sense of me. Oh god, we about to dream. Here we go. What time is it? Oh, what happened? Yo, it's different. Shit. I slept all day. What is happening? This is scary. What the hell? Yo, there's crows in almost every scene. That has that has to have some type of importance. Is that her dad? Oh my god. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. Dad? I'm so nervous right now. I'm literally picking my fingers raw. This is not good. He didn't even answer me. I wonder if it burned like this the day, the day it happened. Oh my God, please. Marshmallow? Can I look at him? I miss him so much. Oh! I'm not about to start crying. You ain't gonna get me. Do I even like marshmallows? Wow. This is a straight up nightmare. Okay, so can we talk to him now? Dad? What are we doing here? Um, hello? I guess we roasted marshmallows. I guess that's what we're doing. I'm so scared right now. Say something, Papa. Papa, please, please, please say something. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. How is he still what teaching her stuff beyond the grave? Blind with beauty. Um. 
But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. What is happening? Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? messed up oh goodness I wasn't ready hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette you could start a fire so are you gonna invite me in or what I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Why does she have a bag? Did you see how she looked at her though? That was cute, that was real cute. Does she Damn. Wear an earring? You've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag? A cool blue light? Holy shit. The all seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. <laughs> Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. That's we already the know hope. what the deal is. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy <For you>. shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. Mm. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You oh. covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. Mm-hmm. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. It's not awful for her mom. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. I would not lay down in that dirty ass truck. Well, Doc. Uh, let's see. Fire. David Blackwell. Let's go with David. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. 
That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Mm. Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. Alright. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Step douche, step dick, step... yeah. Uh... Let's go with step douche. He's, uh, step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, <coughs> he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And Ew. pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. <laughs> mm. Fire. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. Who says that? What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone <laughs> in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? Uh, how yuppie. not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. Yes, it does. Alright, I don't really care about talking about Blackwell. It's your turn. That was actually somewhat therapeutic thank you it's always a pleasure delving into the mind of chloe price and now it's your turn tell me all about what it's like being daughter of arcadia bay's most famous scumbag it sucks too blunt sorry i do that sometimes nah I'm just, ugh, I don't know. Aww. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Yeah, I, I guess so. I just told you my business and now you don't want to talk, but that's fine. That's what they do in therapy sessions, you know? Uh, let's talk about the truck. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. Oh my god. That's pretty badass. They're so cute. I love them. I love them both. Um, was that it? Do you think there's okay. a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? Oh You're just god. whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. Hmm. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Ooh, you're not like him. You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Aw, yay! Shit. It's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. <laughs> That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Date criminal night! Fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a Aww. little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. 
Drive safe, Chloe. She's so nice. Oh, look at her looking at her. Oh, look at her looking at her. That's so nice. So cute. I love it. Welcome back, Santa listeners. <sighs> Hello, Junk Shack. Cool! I remember this place too! It was at the junkyard. Awesome. Aww. Awesome. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Let's check the text. Check the text! It's Mikey! Uh, let's see. Ah, I heard about your. Uh, uh, I heard you got expelled. Sorry. Yeah, I rolled a one against Wells. <laughs> Get it? Steph says you're a nerd. <laughs> That's cute. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. Alright, bag full of clothes, cool. Can I try them on? <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Alright, so we got the terror tower. What are the bonus outfits? Illuminati hot dog man. Punk dough. Let's try a punk dough. I forgot I got the deluxe um, version of this game. Oh no! No! That doesn't look like her at all. Ew, change now. This kind of looks like her outfit that she wears now. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's keep looking. Hmm, I don't know. I like that first one. I like that first one. We're going with that. Uh, well, let me see. I want to see what this one looks like. Ew! What is that? No, we going back to the original. I forgot he lives in a trailer. Um. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. Yo, what if she's like a prostitute? I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price, get your ass in here. Okay, well, you should have got to the door quicker. It's only one room, boo boo. <laughs> Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough <laughs> night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who's that? Look up! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. What is happening? Now I'm fetching things for Frank. Dude, I heard you got expelled. Bad news. You mean good news? I'm stoked. Word. <laughs> If you want to blaze with me and Trev, let me know. Thanks. All right, cool. How low can I go? Cool. You could tell this is like a loop. Okay, anyway. A betting slip. $1,200? Way out of my league. Oof. Oof. Hey, I heard it was that name, Damon or whatever. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. It's always hard to tell what Frank's thinking. Okay. Fight the power. Oregon search and seizure law. Nice. <sighs> Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. 
Hello, you're different. definitely not a meth lab, and I'm definitely not interested. <laughs> Ew, what is that? Ugh, gross. Okay, that looks real gross. I'm a girl faking this shit. Beer, TP, milk. Let's try home. Got it. What does it say? What does it say? <gasps> <coughs> Damn. Okay. That's an insane amount of beans. It sure is. And then there's beans on the floor. Did he spill some? Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. I forgot what I was looking for, by the way. Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. Alrighty then. Oh my god, my god, I can't. Oh my god, can I play with the puppy? Can I play with the puppy? Let me play with the puppy. Oh, he's so cute. You could tell he's been ripping up stuff. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. Is this what I think it is? Uh. Shit. I'm in the red. Yikes. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Frank yeah, and seriously. his BFF. That's adorable. That dude scares the crap out of me. Poor Frank. Next time, try Ask Miss Arcadia. Hi there, my dog is three months old and he's still peeing everywhere. What do I do? Puppies have accidents when they are scared. You have to stop scolding your puppy. Thanks, but I don't scold him. Then why is she having accidents? Raising a puppy requires patience. If you can not control yourself, please look deeply and honestly. What's your fucking problem? I said I don't scold him. Wow, there's no need to swear. I think it's pretty clear what you do. Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Dream about clouds, meaning what age will dog eat steak, piss head music? Hey! Mila Kunis single! Cloud formation screens. Oh. Megan Fox single. Arcadia Bay Forest watch. Why won't puppy eat steak? Oh. Shit. The mill burned down. Frank, I went back to the mill. Shouldn't have. I'm fucking furious. Everything's burned. Total massacre. Can't stop thinking about it. Ooh. Oh, and it says D, so it's from Damon. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Frank, you like you like the dog? I thought you would. That dog is special, man. Callie, Callie's buyer wanted him, and I said, fuck off. Keep your 3K. I'm saving him for my buddy, Frank. I mean it. Everything you've done for me adds up way more than 3K. Don't thank me. This is from me to you. Just let me breed him later. So he saved that little puppy from the mill. Oh, I think they mentioned that in the first game too. All right, let me give him this notebook. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. He's so cute. It's Shut up. He's napping. He's napping. He's napping. Okay, French for what? Does it mean like? Tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? 
Why'd you name him a French name then? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Damn! Let it go. Demand an answer. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Ooh. Hey, so uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got <laughs> shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Hanging myself out of boredom. Come on, Frank. Yes. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. Yeah! I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You, you got it. I just realized he had a thing for beans. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. You shouldn't have opened my mouth. Ugh! Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. <laughs> Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. About? Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Oh, cool. Wait, do you have it? Go hassle someone, Richard. I gave it to my mom. I'll give it to you later. I'm gonna tell him straight up. I did have it yesterday, but I snuck it into my mom's purse. Good for you, Price. Taking care of your own. I knew he was gonna like that. Maybe some other time. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. Ew. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? No, we never talk. He's a douchebag. Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag? No, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Really? Anyway, Interesting. here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. What? Can you handle that? What if he doesn't have the money just laying around? What's in it for me, bro? Yeah, of course. But what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. What's I'll give that? you a 10% cut of the money. Hey, okay. we can give that to mom. Yeah, sure. 
I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. Uh, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Wow. Oh, my back. My back, boo-boo. My back. My back hurts. All right. I'm gonna cut it right here because I've been recording for an hour and a half and that's that's crazy to me and I know this this uh, chapter I mean sorry this episode probably has another hour some change after this so yes gonna break it off here thank you so much for watching I I'm loving this game I really am it's um slowly becoming one of my favorites for sure um, I just love all the characters so much. What do you think? Well, I don't know if you're even going to comment below if you're watching this. But if you are, comment below if you like what you see, if you want to see the next part to it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>